Yo, Shondi. So how's it been? Fine, just fine. Ah, uh, you're not very convincing, you know. Well, what did you expect? I thought I'd listen to you die. I thought that if we'd only gone back for you, we could have stopped it. Yeah, whoa, 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 hold up. I'm right here. I didn't die. And besides, that wouldn't have been on you. That doesn't change what it's been like for me all these years. I really thought I lost you. Yo, Shondi, look. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But I'm here now. Alive and kicking. That counts for something, right? Yeah. But I just can't go through that again. Shondi, don't worry. You won't have to. I promise. Thanks, Johnny. So Shondi's still giving you shit? Every chance she gets. I swear, man, I don't know what I did to piss that girl off. Man, you didn't do a damn thing. It's just her way of showing affection. Oh, is that what you call it? Yo, you're like a brother to her, Pierce. Always have been. Believe me, she looks up to you more than you know. Wow, no shit? Huh. I guess maybe that makes sense. I mean, I always thought of her like a little sister, after all. Well, then again, what the hell do I know? I've been stuck up on this damn shit for years. And I was just beginning to feel better about it. Thank you, Johnny. So why didn't you ever try leading the Saints? Didn't see the point. Well, you're pretty charismatic. You've been a part of the Saints longer than anyone. People don't like pissing you off, and even Zinyak thought you were the biggest threat to him. I've done the planning part in the past, and it's boring. I'd rather just get in there and get shit done. I find it's more fun that way. That's really not that different than how the boss does things now. Gap. King. How's the leg been? Hurts like a bitch when it's gonna rain. You know, I'm sorry about that. Fuck it, wasn't you who did it. Still. Well, thanks. God, it feels good to be the fuck out of that pink-ass vat. From what I hear, you were there a long time. Years, man. Fucking years. Reliving the same hell day after day after day. You know, it gets to you. You reach a point where you think, if I gotta go through this fucking thing one more damn time, I'm gonna snap. Yeah, I've had shoots like that. Your boss speaks very highly of you. Oh, yo, we're tight. We go way back. Given my training as a soldier, your boss thought I'd be especially interested in hearing about your exploits. Listening to your boss go on and on and on. I'll admit, I felt a bit of a rivalry against you. Rivalry, huh? <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. Ah, <sighs> wasn't worried. If you don't mind me saying so, Johnny, you're not nearly the psychopathic killing machine I was led to believe. Oh yeah? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. In fact, I think I get you. Power at any cost. Ultimate control. Absolute loyalty to yourself. You and I share that, Johnny. Alright, yeah. You know, you're not so bad, Miller. We're like brothers. Permission to speak freely, Mr. Gat. Uh, sure. After researching your exploits both on Earth and within your own simulation, I have come to a singular conclusion. You scare me. Huh. Well, good. That is all. Thank you. Never really thought I'd be seeing you like this again. Well, I never thought I'd get all uptight and repressed. Nah, you're not really that bad now. You just learned a few new things. Like how to stop having fun and get all aggressive and vengeful? Hey. Aggressive and vengeful is fun. Though I think that's the part you didn't catch on to. Uh, sometimes you have to spell it out for me. Good point. Hey, I'm sorry about Big Tony, but you know, that was business. Oh, don't worry about that. It's in the past. Right. I'm just saying, I'm willing to forgive and forget if you are, honey. Tanya. Yeah, baby? You ain't getting close enough to shank me. Damn. So, how many times? What are you talking about? How many times did Shandy kill you now? What, like 50? Not cool, man. I don't know, 50's pretty impressive. I remember reading your file when Stag was first handed the task of taking down the Saints. Bet it was a good read. The list of people killed by you was the longest I'd seen in my entire career. Outside a military war zone. Hey, that list is under appeal in court. And look where you ended up. Captured and imprisoned for years by an alien warlord. Your friends thinking you were dead. Hey, at least I'm alive. It's more than I can say for you. 
<laughs> What's so funny? Well, there's a lot to choose from. 2080 split offer, your new face tattoo, your boy Matt. Do you want me to go over my list, starting with your boy, Carlos? Not if you want to keep breathing. It's nice to see a celebrity who can handle a gun. Seems most of them can barely land a punch. Yeah. I suppose you've met a lot of celebrities, huh? And none that I've been impressed with. I hear you, brother. No shit. So, we went from Stillwater to Stillport to the White House. And now we're on an alien ship, floating in space, hooking our minds into some computer-generated virtual simulation. That about sums it up. Yeah. S huh. Right. You think you've gone crazy, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Do you really think there are enough people trapped on the Zin ship to keep the human race going? Oh, sure. Even if 10% of the active pods are from Earth, that should be enough to sustain and repopulate a new planet. Well, eventually. Hold on. By repopulate, you mean... Yep. To hell with that. Oh, I don't mean we help with that. Oh, thank God. Seeing you and your younger self together reminds me just how much you've grown up from your early days in the Saints. You mean from the days of beer bongs and lower dust? Yeah, I had to give that up at some point. There's always room to keep growing. No need to keep putting yourself in front of bullets day in and day out. Given our current situation, not seeing much of a choice right now. Well, not now, of course. But in the future, take some time for yourself, for a family, for a safer life. Cause I am totally family material. Out here in space, fighting for my life against an empire of aliens who want to kill us. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere with this argument, Emma. Nope. How you holding up, Keith? Things getting too crazy for you? <laughs> I'm fine, Shorty. I don't mean any disrespect. I mean, the boss and I come from violent worlds. Fighting in the streets is kind of what we do. You are an actor. A statesman. Did I ever tell you about the time I choked a man to death with my bare hands? Are you serious? I can still feel his pulse beating against the palms of my hand. Getting slower and softer until... nothing. Holy shit, what did he do to you? He used to be my agent. You didn't think much of the Saints when you first met us, did you? Being honest? Not really, no. So, all these years later, has your opinion of us changed? Most of you, yes. You've shown a great deal of dedication, inner strength, and a surprising eagerness to take on seemingly insurmountable challenges. Most of us? Huh. Who hasn't? I'd rather not state the names if it's all the same to you. Oh, sure. Sure. But it's Pierce, right? He does try. Who would have thought, eh? You and me fighting side by side. Certainly not me. But it's good. Your brawn in my brains, your sass in my good looks, we're like a buddy cop show. The one where the pissed off ex-gang member gets a dog for a partner so she straps it to the roof of the cop car and drives down the freeway at 131 miles per hour? That's not a real show. Why did you cut your hair? What? I didn't. The other Shandi's hair is longer and has much more personality. Why did you change it? Are you saying I don't have personality? I did not mean to im- Cool it, Sid. I'm just fucking with you. To be honest, sometimes I miss the dreads. They were a hell of a lot easier to maintain. So do you remember that time we had at the North Pier with- Randall and Jackie! Yeah! What he did! With those fireworks? That was crazy! And those- Fuzzy handcuffs! I never thought he was gonna get him off that sailor. I know! Man, those were good times! God, I don't know why the boss calls in you people for help. I mean, what the hell? You people? Look, just because I was on the opposing side doesn't mean I'm some lesser being. No, but turning people into sex slaves and trying to turn humanity's last stand into a playground for your own profit? Sure do go a long way, don't you think? Yeah, I am pretty awesome. I gotta say, Shondi, you're looking really good. Don't you fucking talk to me. Come on, if we're gonna work together, you have to get over- Get over what? That you tried to kill my friends? That you used me as a human shield? Or that you threw my feed dogs, limited edition vinyl, into a fire? Shondi, I was stoned. Besides, the feed dogs are terrible. I can't believe you ever liked- It was a limited edition! We- we're- we're not talking anymore. Shondi, I... 
Oh no! Don't even speak to me! You don't get that right! But- Open your mouth again and you'll be singing falsetto permanently. I'd say sorry about Jessica, but that bitch nearly ran me over with her car. What? You know, we took on a whole gang of maniacal wrestlers in masks years ago. A gang of masks? Wait. Are you talking about Kilbane's crew? You know him? That asshole? He cost me a title shot 20 years ago. Cheap shot of me outside a gas station in Pittsburgh. Screwed up my neck for months. I've been looking for that fucker for years. Oh, well, he's dead now. So you never told the boss about Paul? Quiet! No, I never did! Wait, you haven't told anybody, have you? No! And I'd like to keep it that way! But you've been having those dreams for years. I'm sure it's no big- Do you want me to tell everyone about what you kept in that locked drawer in your desk at the White House? How do you- Okay. I don't know anything about it, Paul. Yeah, thought so. Hey, how did whole celebrity book signing go with you, King? I mean, you gotta love the fans, right? It went real good. It's amazing the lives I changed just telling my story. Uh-huh. That's not quite... People don't realize what being in the game takes from you. If I got even one kid off the street, it was all worth it. Right, but uh... Though with Earth gone now, I guess it was all for nothing. Yeah, well, gr great talk, Ben. Uh, I'm gonna go. This was not the downer I was looking for. Look, we all know the Earth blowing up is some fucked up bullshit. But it's also an opportunity. An opportunity? Listen, after we take down this Zinyak motherfucker, we're gonna have his big ass ship, right? That means we'll be exploring the galaxy, seeing new worlds. If you need to find a bright side, I suppose that works. New worlds, man. A clean slate. We can find a new planet, a new home, and we build a new civilization based on respect and peace and the betterment of all mankind. You realize any hospitable planet, one capable of sustaining human life, will likely already be populated by an intelligent species. We can dream of a peaceful acceptance by the natives, but history tells a different story. In fact, I can't name a single instance of cultural commingling that didn't involve violence, subjugation, and bloodshed. Keith, why you gotta be a dream killer, man? I tried your energy drink the other day. Really? What did you think? About a decade ago, I was lost behind enemy lines. My entire team was dead. I thought it was over for me. One night, I happened upon an enemy encampment. I was half mad from starvation and fear. I couldn't think. I most certainly couldn't fight. They took me captive, put me in a pit six feet beneath the earth. I had nothing to drink but my own urine, and nothing to eat but the insects that occasionally skittered into the hole. It was my first real glimpse into the darkness that can reside in the human heart. Whoa, shit, but uh, what does that have to do with Saints Flow? I'd rather relive those days than drink another one. What, did you try to grate? Of all the Saints, Pierce, I admit I feel the most direct kinship with you. Why, because we both British? We're outcasts, you and I. Strangers, even amongst peers. Yeah, I guess, Matt. Though, to hear Shondi tell it, she doesn't consider you much of a peer at all. She what? Damn it! I know she felt that way! Do I make you uncomfortable? If so, I apologize. What? No, no! Why would you? You are always backing away from me and giving sideways glances, as if I am contagious. Me? Oh, you must be imagining things, Sid. Nah, we, we cool. I am glad to hear that. I was hoping I could recharge in your room for a short time. Wait! What?! <laughs> hey, Shandy, you remember the time when we- When we found that stash of weed I hid under the couch cushions at the crib in Stillwater, smoked the whole bag, then thought it'd be fun to get in a fist fight with Johnny. What? No, just, uh- I know. Good times. Damn it, girl! Hey, girl. Hey. Wait a minute. Are you Pierce Washington? The one and only. Listen, I'm a huge fan. Would you mind if I picked your brain sometime? <laughs> Anytime, girl. You want to ask me something now? The streets are so noisy. I figured we could go someplace more quiet. Maybe my place at nine? You bring the wine, I'll bring my questions. What wine do you like? Anything but Malbec. Two glasses of that and I just can't control myself. Well, Malbec it is. <laughs> See you at nine. <laughs> Too easy.
Hey, you. You know, I'm a pretty popular singer now. That's nice. I was thinking we could hang sometime, and I'll let you hear some of my tracks. Why are you talking to me? Did you forget what happened between me and Shondi or something? Oh, that? Shit, man. She's killed you like 50 times for it since we've been here. Think it's gotta be water under the bridge now, right? Do you even know her? Look, Pierce, could you talk to Shondi for me? Why the hell would I do that? She won't let me apologize for what happened back in Steelport. You mean for having your attack dog kidnap her and throw her in the brig? You think? Well, yeah. Hell no, man. You're on your own. Um, uh, how are those tattoos coming along? Oh, that's funny. Coming from the people who scarred my face. Shit, I was just trying to be nice, man. Or maybe it's the radioactive ink talking then. But I'm not looking to make friends here. Okay, I got the hint. Jesus. Pretty crazy shit going on, huh, Roddy? Ah, uh, you ain't kidding. I'm not sure if I really am Roddy Piper or just a figment of Keith David's imagination. You know what? Yeah, man, that's exactly how I feel sometimes. Am I dreaming of Saints Flow or is Saints Flow dreaming of me? Saints Flow? Isn't that a drink? How can a drink be dreaming of anything? Paul is more powerful than you can imagine. Paul? Who the fuck's Paul? Who isn't Paul? Kenzie, I have to say, I don't know what the Saints would do without you. Why, thank you, Mr. King. I mean, without you, we'd all still be trapped in those pod things. That's probably true. I'm just glad you're better at this than as the press secretary. I know I am. Wait, what? I uh, forgot to say it, but... Thanks for rescuing me. Oh, sure. No problem at all. Though I have to say, I was surprised you came to the other side of the Zin ship to find me first. I would have thought that... It was on the way. But you said you had to... It was on the way. Oh. Oh. Right. So, Asha, this is difficult for me to say, but... Especially now that Earth is, you know, gone, and I don't have anyone to spend time with. Spend time with? Sure. You know, just hang out, eat pizza, watch scary movies, braid each other's hair. I just need to feel a familial connection, you know? A familial connection? You mean, like sisters? The boss says I'm not really allowed to say that word anymore. In case I haven't said it yet, not... You're doing a fine job. Thank you, Kinsey. That's very big of you. You know, I originally thought your running home to England in exchange for amnesty and a job with MI6 was cowardice. But you helped quite a bit with the Cyrus Temple mission. Yes, I did. And you did a fine job of keeping everything together after the Earth blew up, until I could be retrieved to take over. Oh, Matt, you were so close. Are you sure you do not want to go out with me sometime, Kinsey? Yeah. I'm sure. It is just that I have been alone for so long, and you and I have so much in common. Sid, I've been doing this hacking thing for a long time. I can smell bullshit even through a monotone computery voice like yours. Well, damn. I still don't believe you're real, you know. Hey, you were the one that was a crazy voice from the sky when we first met, remember? Well, you're just some fractured part of Shandi's psyche that manifested due to feelings of inadequacy and self-loathing. Okay, now you're projecting here. Well, you're a... Wait, what? Hey, I just call it as I see it. You know, you're kind of mousy, but you've got that sexy geek librarian thing down really well. Um, thank you? I'm just saying, at my old place in Stillwater, you would have been a major draw. Wait, you ran a brothel in Stillwater, didn't you? I'm kind of thinking Steelport could use one too. So, uh, what do you say? Teacup. Teacup. So, I hear you're really good with computers and stuff. And I hear you're really good with using girlfriends as human shields. Hey, whoa, let's just chill on that. I made amends. Shandi and I are good now. Really? Because the Shandi I know really isn't the forgive-and-forget type. Yeah, she was so much cooler back in the day. I guess being taken hostage really changes you. Cyrus. Uh, y y yes ma'am. Talk to me again after this, and I'll rework your code in the simulation so you spend every waking minute in excruciating agony centered on your lower body. Good. You're learning.
You are very forward-thinking for your time, Roddy. I'm going to ignore that your time comment and just ask, uh, what do you mean? Well, there you were, an icon of incredibly masculine pastime, one signifying by brutality and macho posturing, and the whole time you were sporting long hair and a skirt. It was a Celt, Kinsey. A Celt. And I was playing a character. Still, that was brave. You set an example for a lot of men who were questioning their own fashion choices, and maybe even who they were inside. I never really thought of it that way, but okay, um... Thanks. Interesting artwork. Thank you. Is there anyone that's your favorite? Well, they all have meaning to me. Kinda a cliché answer. Kind of a cliché conversation. Good point. I'll be quiet now. Who would have thought it, huh, Ben? The President, the VP, and the Chief of Staff fighting aliens in a simulated city. <laughs> it's pretty damn crazy, Keith. Hell, if someone wrote that in a book, there isn't anyone in the world who'd read that shit. Oh, shit. You know, Mr. King, I read your book when it came out. Really? Given your line of work, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Well, it was very incisive. I could see how others might benefit from your teaching. But not you? You teach diplomacy, Ben. I get called in when diplomacy fails. <laughs> I guess that's true. I can't imagine what it must be like for a distinguished gentleman such as yourself to be brought back into the street game. Actually, I don't mind stretching my legs a bit. Things are different now, of course, because we're avenging the Earth. True. I imagine it was much worse when you were just a thug trying to make a name for yourself in a world of crime and vice. A thug? Are you saying that I was just a thug back in Stillwater? Oh, no, of course not. I, I just mean, you know, that uh, poverty and drugs and the ever-widening gulf between the upper and lower economic classes and hip-hop culture. You really want to shut your mouth now, son? Yes, Mr. King. So, why do they call you Sid? Because this robotic orb my consciousness is inside is called a CID. A control and interface device. Not very creative, then. Actually, I have heard groups of warriors such as ourselves often have someone named Sid who travels with them. Oh, where have you heard that? From the last fantasy game I saw online. So you were some big hotshot gangster back in Stillwater? Please, I was more of a businessman with a checkered past. But you ran Kingdom Come Records, right? That's the label that put out all of Aisha's albums. That's right. Did it piss you off to find out she faked her death just to get out of her contract? Wait, what? Oh, um, forget I said anything, okay? So, uh, Ben... <laughs> Look, Tanya, what's done is done. We've had our beef and shit got settled. Multiple times, in fact. What you did back in Stillwater, I'm over it. Wow, that's really big of you, Ben. But you step out of line just once, and I'll find an even bigger building to drop your ass from. Hey, been meaning to tell you that I read your book. It's really good. Thank you very much. No, thank you. You're like an empire god. You know all the tricks. I learned a lot. That's how I built a legion of loyal followers. I think the addictive properties of Lower Dust are to thank for that. That hurts, man. I was talking about the dedicated listeners to my show on Gen X FM. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. I keep forgetting you're an actual DJ. I have to say, Mr. King, I'm a big fan. Thank you. Your book, the story behind your rise and fall in the Vice Kings, the message it gives to those caught in the criminal lifestyle, it really moved me. I'm glad it did. It was instrumental in pitching the Stag Initiative to the Brass. In fact, you might say without you, the special tactical anti-gang unit wouldn't exist. That's... Uh, great, yeah. You wasted an opportunity. Excuse me? If you went 50-50 with the Saints, maybe your girl would still be alive. Watch yourself, old man. Don't get mad at me for telling the truth. The Saints didn't kill you. Your greed did. You're the same Ben King who wrote Regicide, right? That's right. Based on my life. Did you read it? Nah. Saw the movie, though. It was good. Well, thank you. Guy who played you sounds nothing like you, though. 
I don't want to come across as a gushing fanatic, but I really enjoyed your work, Keith. That's very kind of you, Asha. Thank you. Do you have any formal training, or is it all instinct? Actually, I attended the high school for the performing arts, and then I went on to Juilliard, where I graduated with a BFA. Um, Juilliard. I'm, I'm not familiar with that school. Oh, well, it's the most highly regarded acting school in the country. Acting? Oh, are you an actor? I'm talking about how well you handle a gun. It's very impressive. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. David. We're fighting side by side, Matt. Please, call me Keith. I can't say I've seen everything, but definitely all the big stuff. Which would you say is your favorite role? I'd say my favorite role is that of the Vice President of the United States. Really? Which movie was that? Real life, Matt. Oh god, you're one of those. I have been doing research on you, Mr. David. Seems you like to do research on lots of people. Well, so do I. That's why I had Kinsey do a little research on you. Seems like you've been around for quite some time. And that you've been inside a lot of simulations. That is true. And that you've made a lot of simulations. Some very specific simulations. One hidden far away from any prying Zen eyes. Oh. You... Oh. So why don't you stop digging up dirt on me, and I won't tell anyone else about some of your... proclivities. How about that sports team? So when I get older, I get to hang out with famous movie stars. That doesn't sound half bad. Actually... I'm the vice president now. But you still get to go to all the posh Hollywood parties, I'm sure. And I'm betting you let me tag along, because honestly, why wouldn't you? Honestly, no. You've never asked to come with me. Hold on. Older me has told you how big a fan I am of your work, right? She's never mentioned it. So she never told you that I'd think of you and... Actually, that's probably a good thing she didn't mention that. God, I can't believe I'm fighting on the side of the Saints. I can't believe I'm fighting at all. This whole thing is insane. I, I wanted to be a statesman. This whole invasion thing has fucked up everything, you know? It sure has. But wait, 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 didn't you die years ago? God, don't remind me. God, you remind me so much of... Oh, not this again. Look, I get it. I remind you of Julius. Yes, yes, yes. I remind everyone of Julius. Julius? No, no, no. I was gonna say, you remind me of that actor. Oh. Well, I am that actor. Yeah. Ooh, this is trippy. I can't believe I'm hanging out with the guy from that Ghostbusting movie. No. That's... Uh, never mind. I'm surprised Kinsey hasn't even asked to be called Kathy. So I'm supposed to believe you're the Vice President of the United States. That's right. Why is that so hard to believe? I'm just surprised that you aren't the actual president. Seems more fitting for a man of your character. You make a very compelling point. You know, it's funny. The president never mentioned you to me. I doubt there's much thought given to the people who've been killed by the saints. Well, I've heard all about Philippe Loren, William Sharp and his nephew, and that Mr. Sunshine fellow. You heard about that psychotic witch doctor before me? Oh. And about some mechanic named Donnie. Are you fucking kidding me? That, uh, Kinsey chick told me something pretty interesting. Oh yeah, she says a lot of crazy shit. She said that the simulations are based on the subject's worst nightmare. Oh, did she? That does sound interesting. So, I guess that would mean making a movie with me was your worst nightmare, huh? No, Roddy, it's not that at all. I loved working with you. But would I want to do that fight scene over again? Hell no! <laughs> yeah, I did mess you up pretty bad. Mess me up? You may recall I got a lot of good shots in there. Yeah, but I won. Because the script said you won. Yeah, that's why. You really want to push this? Really? No, man. I already won once. I don't need to do it again. Well, at least with Earth gone, I don't have... How are you enjoying the fieldwork, Matt? To be honest, I'd rather coordinate efforts from a safe distance. Mastermind is more my speed. Come on now, you have to admit there's an allure to being in the middle of the action. An allure? Is that spy code for dirt, blood, fire, nausea, and the insufferable blatherings of monosyllabic enemies that all look alike? Yes. Well then, yes, it does have an allure. Your file has been most interesting to read, Asha Odakar. My file? 
are you talking about? You would be surprised what the Zin grabbed from Earth's databases before obliterating the planet. They have many pages on you. Oh, really? Yes. They even had information regarding your earlier self. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I am sure your hometown eagles were bolstered to many a victory by your forceful cheers, Squad Captain Odakar. You tell anyone about that, Sid, and I will rip every last resistor off your circuit board with my teeth. Of course. You're MI6, right? What's it like being part of that? Quite gratifying, really. I get to protect my government from outside threats and keep people safe from harm. Yeah. You know your government kind of got blown up, right? Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, anytime. I heard you ran the Vice Kings for a bit, is that right? Longer than just a bit, yeah. Took the reins after I pushed out Ben King. Oh, it takes a strong soul to stand up to Benjamin. Huh, you seem to be more than your hooker getup suggests. Hey! No offense intended, I'm just used to more conservative fashion, I guess. Oh, yeah, I, I can see that. But you do look completely like a hooker. I find it very interesting, the diversity of the foes that the Saints have faced. Diversity of foes? Sure. From what I've heard, the Saints have gone up against Satanists, masked wrestlers, sinister aristocrats, and apparently some pissed-off Rastafarians. I was a member of a voodoo gang, thank you very much. Ha. <laughs> because that's so much better. You know, a good deal of stag technology came from MI6. Pardon me? I'll have you know everything we used was 100% designed and made in the USA. Oh, you can't honestly believe that, can you? I have the personal assurance of the highest authority in my country. You mean from the president? A person just like the current president who you tried to kill back in Steelport? Yes! Just like... Damn! I had an informant like you back in London. Big guy. Tough. Covered in all sorts of bodywork. Used to demand payment in new ink. Not a bad idea. Whatever happened to him? He ended up getting killed when he tattooed the number for the police department's tip hotline to the back of his hand. I hope you're not offended, but I'm not really familiar with your career. Wrestling wasn't the phenomenon in England that it was in the States. Oh, of course not. Uh, you know, honestly, I, I don't mind the break. The fans are great, but uh, there's more to me than just wrestling. I hear you're also an actor. Oh, sure, that too, but there's much more to me than that. Really? How do you mean? Uh, look, uh, I don't tell many people this, but there was a time uh, in the mid-90s that I was a fourth member of a Latin music group called the Rodriguez Vipers. We sang a cappella versions of classic Central American folk songs, hit the top 40 in the Latin music charts twice. Uh. Really? Nope. But the great thing about you not knowing much about me is I can tell you bullshit like that. <laughs> By the way, Matt, I finished retrieving your data from the satellite backup like you asked. Oh, good. I took the liberty of partitioning one of the drives on the ship and putting the data there for easy retrieval. You did what? I also informed Kinsey that I have sequestered 1.4 terabytes of onboard storage for the task and asked that she check the data for infection and completeness. You told Kinsey? Yes. Miss Kensington made it very clear to me that she should be informed of anything related to the ship. You told Kinsey? You sound distressed. I would not worry. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. I imagine Miss Kensington has already seen herself naked. Shit. Wow, so I hear you're like a super smart hacker. Oh, you heard right. Yes, I am of a sophisticated intellect. But you're way more chill than Kinsey. She's kind of high strung. Perhaps I'm more confident in my abilities. You're also kind of cute. Oh, well, thank you. And you have that cute accent. What are you doing after this? You want to smoke a bulb? Maybe see where things go? I... don't think older you would appreciate that very much. She doesn't have to know. But she would. Older Shandi knows everything. You're from Steelport, right? Not originally, but yes, I spent some time there. I heard it's a nice place. I thought about setting up an expansion of my business there once. Really? And what type of business was this? Oh, you know. 
prostitution, mostly. Oh. Any chance you might be looking for a good time? Nope. Thank you, ma'am. Pretty crazy, huh? The Saints bringing back us bad guys to help them out? I'm actually not a bad guy anymore. I've worked with the Saints before. Wait, I thought I heard you were the head of the gang, right? And you tried to take out the Saints back in Steelport? Yes, that's right. But I'm reformed. The Saints beat me and I went back to England, joined MI6 and all that. The Saints beat you? And let you leave? They let you live? Yes. What the hell? This is bullshit, man. Aren't you the kid who hacked into Stag's secure database and changed all the top secret file names to... What was it? Something with an R. What? Me? No, I'm sure you're thinking of somebody else. I'm a member of MI6. I remember. Ragnarok wins. You sure that wasn't you? Uh, Ragnarok wins again. And yes, that totally wasn't me. It's a bad you idea. know, I had a best friend named Matt once. Oh, really? What was he like? Good guy. Good guitarist. Great tattoo artist. Sounds like a good man. What happened to him? The Saints lit his hand and arm on fire. I knew this had a bad ending. This is probably a strange time to mention it, but you were one of the best bad guys in wrestling history. Oh, well, uh, that's very kind of you to say. You were probably my favorite wrestler of all time. Thank you. I even had one of your action figures. I had another of myself, too. Oh, mate, not professional, of course. I'd pretend we were tag team partners and we'd obliterate our opponents with devastating moves. Oh, yeah? As our co-op finisher, you would throw me over your head and I'd land on the opponent and deliver a massive suplex in midair. Then you and I would go have a tea party with Mr. Fluffykins and Penelope Rabbit. I'm gonna be over here, kid. Why do I not see you on the ship? Huh? You mean outside this simulated city? Yes. Well, cause I'm already there. And I can't really be there if I'm already there. You know what I mean? Are you high? Um, yeah? Right now, gangsters in space is pretty ironic. How do you manage the logistics of your brothel houses? It's really quite simple. If a room is empty, send the next customer in. You do not care what sort of proclivities each of your girls or your patrons have? Look, sex is sex. What do I care if any of them would rather have something specific? As long as I get paid. You are a terrible mistress, and should be ashamed. So, can you play music or anything useful? Yes. I have quite a large library of music from your world. Anything by the Feed Dogs? Yes. Let's hear it, you pick. No. I thought you were some kind of servant robot, so come on, play something. The only time I serve anyone is if I get paid. But for Fun Shandy's ex, I will make an exception and just say, piss off. You know, you remind me of some tech our R&D department worked up for training exercises in STAG. I can understand the need for wanting something with a vast knowledge database and mercenary tendencies in your military training. Actually, we just use it for moving target practice. Why do humans see the need to permanently mark their body with ink? Why do robots see the need to ask such stupid, pointless questions? That was unkind. I have been watching footage of your old fighting matches, Mr. Piper. We called it wrestling, Sid. Whatever. It was very similar to an exhibition sport I invented on my home world. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> Funny how two completely different worlds can create things that are so similar. Yes, I am sure it was completely coincidental. You will be hearing from my attorneys, Mr. Piper. I like your shoes. Uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. I guess. And the skirt. Looks good on you. Um, thanks. You got anything to eat? I'm starving. Damn stoners. So, you got anything good on you? I tried to kill you, and you're hitting me up for weed? What? I killed you. You're harmless now. Might as well party a little. <laughs> I think I'd be insulted if I didn't have a bag stashed at the crib we could hit later. Sounds perfect to me. 
Heard you kidnap me or something. That was business. And what about seducing me and making me serve your every little fantasy? Wait, what? I, I never. <laughs> you should see your face. What you did to Carlos was kind of shitty, you know. I suppose what you did to Jessica was just getting even? Well, yeah. Well, let me give you a tip. There is no even. Asshole. Wow, you're totally Roddy Piper. Yeah, that's me. I was a big fan of yours. Ah, good. That's nice to hear. I learned so much from you. Really? Did you wrestle in high school or something? No, man. I learned so much about the real world. You know, the real world. With the people with no faces and messages on everything? Oh, yeah. Baby Jesus, you folks are freaks. You're from Stillwater, right? So am I. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of you. You used to run the prostitution ring there, right? Among other things, yes. I also ran the Vice Kings. Really? Nice. Something about power makes a woman really sexy. You know, maybe after we're done here, you and me should talk some more. I suppose Shondi told you about the time I tried to get her to take a bullet for me? Eh, I've had guys do worse. Just how much of your body is tattooed? A lot. What hurt the most to get? The one I got after the Saints killed Jessica. Oh. Um, so, uh, I'll shut up now. A very good idea. I, I, always, I always feel like somebody's watching me. God, finally! I'm working with someone I can respect. Man, I loved you as a bad guy back in the day. <sighs> well, thank you. Yeah, playing the bad guy is a lot of fun, you know. Then you became a good guy, and I was like, what the hell? I want old Roddy back. Bad, Roddy. Well, you know, it's it's business. I had a lot of fun being a good guy, too. Whatever. Being the bad guy is so much better. A dirty way to get an autograph sometime? From me? Sure thing. Were you a fan of my show? Oh, no, I never heard it before. My niece was the one who loved it. Personally, I hate hippie bullshit. Well, thanks. Jessica liked that gift I sent over? She did. Though how'd you find it? Had to pull a few strings to get the whole set, but I have my connections. You know someone who deals in tiny plastic toy ponies? She. you'd be surprised what people collect from their childhood. A kilt, huh? <laughs> That's a bold choice. Oh, really? It's just, you know, it's a skirt. Not exactly the manliest outfit, especially for taking alien hordes in a crime-ridden city. Look, man, it's part of my heritage, and I'm proud of it. I've had bigger men than you take cracks at me for wearing these colors, and I've taken every single one of them to the mat. Just because we're not in the ring doesn't mean I won't lay your ass out. You know what I wear under my kilt? Your girlfriend's lipstick. We clear? Yes, sir. So you really thought you could bring down the Saints with your little army? Of course. Stag was trained for dealing with gang violence. We had the best high-tech weaponry available at the time. Yet you still failed. If the government had approved more extreme measures earlier, there would have been no question of our success. You simply don't get it. You had no chance. Ever. I never understood why men with your natural martial talent never joined the Special Forces. I doubt I could entertain a crowd of fans if I were in the military. But is that really better than serving your country to the best of your ability? If you think giving our soldiers something special to smile about on a weekly basis isn't worth my while, then we got a problem. No, there's no problem. Roddy. You think you could teach me a few of your best moves? Yeah, I could. But only if you're willing to put in the full dedication needed. No kilts. Sorry, man. <laughs> Can't help you then. Nice to see you again, Cat. Julius. Shit seemed so much simpler in the old days, didn't it, Johnny? 
What, before you got Lynn killed, and you let an undercover cop into the crew, and then you betrayed your own? Yeah, simpler. I wasn't responsible for what happened to Lynn, and you know it. Didn't argue the other two, though. That's what I thought. I can't get over how much different you are from your other you. Yeah, well, people change. Some folks don't. Your boss never has. King never did. Gat was always the same psychopath. Don't you say another goddamn word about Johnny Gat, you hear me? Yeah, 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 shit, I hear you. So you're the player's right hand man. How's that working out for you? The Saints were on top of the world, I was an international celebrity, and I was on the president's staff. I can't complain. You do know the Earth blew up, and now none of that matters. And it's all the player's fault. Well, sure, things end up a little over the top sometimes. But you can't blame what happened to the Earth on the boss. If the Saints weren't so damn destructive and stubborn, we wouldn't be in this position to begin with. If the Saints weren't how we are, then the human race wouldn't have anyone trying to save them right now. Sorry, man, but you gotta let that shit go. Everyone keeps comparing you and Keith David, but I gotta be honest, I don't see any real similarity. Yeah? Me neither. I mean, Keith David is an elder statesman and a classically trained actor. And you're a former gang leader with a propensity for violence. You realize your boss is a former gang leader with a propensity for violence too, right? Exactly! And nobody compares them to Keith David. So, Benjamin. Fighting side by side again. Takes me back to Sunnyvale. Yeah, we were a pair. You and me. Then you founded the Vice Kings. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Are we really gonna get into this? Julius, the past is past. Neither of us are gang leaders anymore. I moved out of that shit. I went into music and books. All the way to the White House. And you're... Dead, Benjamin. I'm dead. Yeah. Man, it is fucked up that we can talk right now. Tell me about it. It's a bad idea. So, Keith David. I'm a fan. Thank you. That's very kind. You know, some folks say I remind them of you. Yeah, I get the same with you. I don't see it, though. Me neither. I'm surprised, Kinsey. So, you're yet another name on the list of people who tried to kill the president, eh? Despite everything I've done with my life, apparently that's what I'm known for. Well, you're in impressive company. Including you? Me? No. God, no. Of course not. Not that I didn't consider it once or twice. So, is it true you once tried to kill the president? Well, it was before they were presidents, but, well, yes. That's something we have in common, then. You tried to... really? Tried to blow him up on a boat. Impressive. I tried to trap their mind inside a virtual world that would render them brain dead and leave their body to rot in meat space. So... Kinda like Zinyak, then. What? No, nothing like... Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Did you used to be the Vice President as well? Come again? There are several similarities between you and the current Vice President. Why does everyone keep saying that? You ever take anything seriously, girl? Who, me? Of course I do. Beside partying. I was right in the thick of things with the Saints, thank you very much. What, playing hacky sack? Hey, that led to an important lead on the Brotherhood, I'll have you know. This is awkward, isn't it? Me and you? Oh, I don't know. We both had our beef with King. True, but I tried to kill him. And I tried to kill a future president. We all have our baggage. Yeah, you're right. I guess you and me have a lot in common after all. Well, let's not go that far. You know, you would have made my job a lot easier if you hadn't failed to finish off the boss on that boat. You would have made your own job easier by not going after the Saints at all. Guess we both fucked up. Do you really think the Saints were gonna lay down and let you run things in Stillwater? Yeah. I thought they'd know what was good for them. There was no way you were gonna bully someone too stubborn to die in an explosion. You should have thought of that, Nero. Just like you should have thought about how you weren't going to walk away once the Saints found out about your part in that? Looks like we were both too blind for our own good. Any idea if you're alive in Zinyak's ship somewhere? 
or if you died on Earth? No, honestly, uh, I haven't thought about it. You? Me? Oh, I died a long time ago. The President shot me back in Stillwater. Uh, um, then, uh, how are you here? How are you here? Needed the money. 